With a chart-topping album every couple of years, it's no surprise that Taylor Swift is one of the most successful singer-songwriters in the business. With the dough rolling in, Taylor spends her millions on things close to her heart and beautiful homes. Here's an inside look at Taylor's multi-million dollar property portfolio. Come in. Number one, Seaside Estate. Since most of us aren't lucky enough for a coveted invite to one of Taylor's A-list Independence Day parties, we'll have to settle for pictures of her 12,000 square foot beach house. Taylor purchased this home in 2013 for a cool 17.75 million and reportedly paid in cash. The massive 1930s seaside estate is at the highest point in Rhode Island town and features seven bedrooms. For cool cottagecore evenings, there are also eight fireplaces along with a pool. Taylor's Beach property is one of her favorite locations with 700 feet of gorgeous shoreline views. Number two, New York Penthouse. In 2014, Taylor acquired side-by-side -side penthouse loft apartments in the Tribeca area of New York. Formerly owned by director Peter Jackson, the massive converted duplex features 10 bedrooms and 10 bathrooms. Besides being located in an uber-trendy neighborhood, the penthouse also has plenty of amenities for Taylor's secluded writing days, including a billiards room and a ton of natural light. No wonder she's constantly feeling inspired. Number three, neighboring lofts. One of Taylor's many New York properties included a Tribeca house. The townhouse is right next door to the building that features her double penthouse. The 1915 home is equipped with everything the star and her friends could ask for while staying in the Big Apple. A home theater, a gym, a guest suite, and a terrace. The townhouse is valued at $18 million. In 2018, Taylor expanded in New York yet again with a $9.75 million purchase of yet another Tribeca loft. This one stretching an impressive 3,500 square feet. Number four, Beverly Hills Mansion. The home that Taylor purchased in 2015 is one of her most impressive. It's a Beverly Hills mansion to rival the best of them. She paid a reported $25 million. Built in 1934, the estate features 10,982 square feet and used to belong to film producer Samuel Goldwyn. Swift made the decision to have the home restored to its original Gatsby era glory and turned into a historic landmark. Number five, California Ranch. Also in Beverly Hills is one of Swift's more frequented abodes. The ranch has since been sold, going for $2.65 million. The 1950s style home is in the mid-century style popular in Hollywood, with lush gardens and plenty of natural sunlight. It features four bedrooms, four bathrooms, white beams on the ceilings, and a wine cellar that holds a thousand bottles. Number six, Nashville Pad. Taylor has never forgotten her humble beginnings as an up-and-coming country star with ties to Nashville's music scene. It's believed she was originally discovered while performing an original song in the town's popular Bluebird Cafe. It's understandable then that Taylor Swift's first ever real estate purchase was actually in that music-friendly town. When she was just 20 years old, Taylor purchased a 3,240 square foot condo in Nashville in an area known as Music Row for around $2 million. The penthouse apartment features an industrial style with floor-to-ceiling windows. Swift once described the condo as being whimsically girly. Number seven, Nashville Estate. But the condo in Nashville wasn't enough, especially when she planned to be spending longer periods of time in the city. So Taylor later purchased a mansion estate near Nashville. In the Greek Revival style, the incredible home features a main house spread across 5,600 square feet. There's also a 2,000 square foot guest house for friends and family. She purchased the estate for a great deal at around $2.5 million. Number eight, childhood home. In 2022, Taylor Swift's childhood home in Pennsylvania sold for just under $1 million. The singer and her family lived at the Georgian colonial-style home until Taylor's teens when they moved to Nashville to give her career a kickstart. The 1929 home includes five bedrooms, a pool, a hot tub, and a terrace. The gorgeous home and Taylor's small family of her parents and brother Austin undoubtedly had some good times here. Number 9. West Village Taylor has also lived in a 1912 apartment in the West Village. The large yet cozy apartment has five bedrooms and seven bathrooms. 
there's also an indoor pool. The luxurious interior of the space has double height ceilings, you know, for Taylor's tall model friends. It also features antique brickwork in Parisian style, as well as glammed up chandeliers. This place is seriously beautiful. Oh, and don't forget the rooftop terrace with an outdoor kitchen, barbecue, and jacuzzi. The apartment sold in 2019 for $11.5 million. Number 10. Abandoned Conspiracy while the properties we've already looked at are some of Taylor's most well-known property purchases, some fans believe that Taylor has more private homes that she keeps out of the public eye. Taylor Swift's abandoned mansion. And some even believe the conspiracy that she owned an abandoned mansion. The mysterious home was apparently built as a gift to Taylor's parents, but they never ended up moving in. The massive 2,300 square foot mansion now, unfortunately, sites crumbling and overgrown. Given Taylor's interest in historical homes, we're not sure we believe the theory that she's the unknown owner. This star knows how to live large. Which of these mansions or penthouses could you see yourself getting cozy in? Let us know in the comments and subscribe to The Thing Celebrity for more inside looks at celeb homes.